Hello everyone. Today I'll present our paper about memorability of spatial features in virtual reality. In this research, we worked with Dr. Guzaja and Dr. Alsham together. The goal of this study is to uncover and understand the user's perception of spatial features as they interact with cultural heritage in virtual environment. The virtual reality experience adopted Kaufman's threefold imagery conception to structure the research methodology which suggests that linguistic representation, visual imagery representation, and exploratory activity all have strong relationship during the problem-solving and creative processes. Since it has distinctive spatial features, the Suleimani Mosque in Istanbul was chosen for the VR experience as a part of the scope. Following the VR experience in two sessions, it was analyzed using semi-structure interviews, sketching, and root extraction. The initial findings of this study revealed differences in individuals' perception and memorability of spatial qualities in the VR environment. Immersive technology advancements provide numerous advantages in documentation, presentation, visualization, and open up a new research area for cultural heritage. This digital cultural heritage, also known as virtual heritage, creates exceptional interactive experiences that facilitate users' learning, creativity, and collaboration often through entertainment. This integration raises the question of whether novel ways of interacting with the physical environment change users' perceptions, comprehension, or spatial experiences. Spatial experience shapes memory's architectural organization. Remembering architectural images is an important memory device for materializing and preserving the flow of time and making it visible, concretizing remembrance by containing and projecting memories, and inspiring reminiscence and imagination. Therefore, the purpose of this study is to discover the implicit and minor differences between individuals in their perception of spatial features during the immersive experience of cultural heritage in virtual heritage. Perception, comprehension, memorability, and spatial experience in virtual reality environments differ from person to person. Aside from the movement route and the detail of the spatial environment features, the duration and frequency of an environment may influence users' memorability. So, a qualitative research framework is developed to better understand the differences between individuals. Geir Kaufman contributes to the theoretical debates with his concept of verbal, visual, and experiential imagery, which considers the restructuring of individual information from one domain to another. The VR experience in the scope of this study used Kaufman's threefold imagery conception to structure the research methodology. The basic principles of Kaufman's theory are illustrated in this figure, which suggests that linguistic representation, visual imagery representation, and exploratory activity all have a strong relationship during the problem-solving and creative processes. Since experience is subjective and holistic, it's hard to isolate any modes of representation from others. Keeping this difficulty in mind, Kaufman's concept of imagery has been adapted for data collection structuring in relation to actions of memorizing and remembering the space. In the scope of this research, a case study, which we call Suleimani Experience, was designed to understand the verbal, visual, and experiential factors of spatial memory in virtual heritage environments. This figure illustrates the experiment setup framework. The Suleimani Mosque was chosen due to its distinct spatial characteristics. The spatial richness is expected to keep multiple levels of perception throughout the experience. Another reason for selecting this monument is that it's accessible to a variety of users for a wide range of purposes throughout the day. Suleimani Mosque is a part of both locals' and tourists' daily lives and it is still functioning as a mosque. In this study, an interactive journey for Suleimani Mosque was created using Unreal Engine, which is a game engine, allowing the user to experience the interior and exterior of the building. Before initiating on this VR journey, we created a 3D sold model of the Suleimani Mosque in Rhinoceros. Alisai Mürgen's 3D drawings were the primary source for the 3D modeling task. Users can move around in virtual space using teleport-style locomotion. This movement was made possible by Oculus Quest 2 and its hand trackers. For locomotion, we defined 22 points for the exterior and 12 points for the interior. These points were highlighted in the model with 3D labels. 
users were free to move on and around the walkable surfaces that comprise the mosque's overall form in addition to the teleportation experience. The virtual experiment was divided into two sessions. The respondents in this study were eight undergraduate architecture students who had visited Suleymaniye Mosque at least once. During the first session, respondents were allowed to remain in the virtual environment for 10 minutes. Their experience was documented using Oculus Quest 2 and after 10 minutes, respondents were surveyed using a semi-structured survey. Finally, for one minute, respondents were asked to draw a scale-free hand sketch of their experience. Then, in the second session, respondents were allowed to stay one minute in the virtual environment. For the second experience, the recording, survey and sketching were repeated. Here you can see the questions about the qualitative and quantitative architectural features of Suleymaniye Mosque in the survey. Based on the recorded sections of the respondents, we mapped their movements and created line-based diagrams. On the right, you can see these line-based superimposed diagrams that shows the similarities and differences between the experiences. Respondents became acquainted with the tool, interface and Suleymaniye Mosque during the first 10 minutes session. Despite this training session, respondents were able to give adequate answers to all questions. Following the first session, respondents were confronted with six questions. Given this, the respondents were informed about the questions before beginning the one-minute second session. These tables show the responses of respondents to questions. The common denominator was that the respondents tend to count the spatial components in the second stage and express this verbally. The results of the sketching phases were also similar to the results of the interviews. Respondents' sketches in the first session were primarily concerned with the experience and the atmosphere. In contrast, in the second session, they concentrated on the quantitative aspects of the architectural elements. During the experimental phase, the duration of the VR experience was examined at 10 minute and 1 minute intervals, but no significant difference was found between these two experiences. It was discovered that the order of the two sessions had a significant impact on the user's motivation to focus on quantitative aspects of the architectural space. In this sense, the duration and frequency of the experiments can be reconsidered in the future studies to achieve better results. To outline the study's limitations, experiments were carried out with a white solid digital model rather than a fully textured model due to the required permissions to document monuments such as Suleymaniye Mosque. The presence of photorealistic textural details may have an effect on the overall experience. Furthermore, the contextual and environmental parameters are neglected. Without the limitations mentioned above, the study is expected to show more detailed results about perception and memorability in VR environments in the following studies. Thank you for listening.